Jerry at Fair Oaks. See if everybody's out of the washroom. Tabby and Harold should have been here long ago. Okay. <laughs> Why so slowly? Oh, this whole thing has got me so shaky. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I thought it was after taps already. Well, is there anyone in the washroom? No, I don't think so, Lee. You better close the door then. We don't want to arouse any suspicion. I'll say. Especially after Captain Bogart caught Harold. Oh, I wish they'd get here. I want to find out just what the captain said to Harold. He told us all there was to tell. No, I don't think he did. He was afraid to talk in the hallway. Well, there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight if Captain Bogart knows that we're going to try to do. Now I'm getting nervous. What did you have to say that for? Well, it's true. How long ago did tattoo sound? I don't know. Waiting like this makes you lose all idea of time. Seems like I heard tattoo hours ago. <laughs> Imagine waiting for taps. Any other time, we'd be wishing it wouldn't sound. Well, you said something then. Many a time I've been reading a book and at the same time hoping the bugler couldn't find his bugle. <laughs> now, I can understand what you mean. It must be awful to be reading a real exciting story and when you get to the most important part, tap sound. And you have to turn off the lights. Well, but it always happens that way. And when you've got just about one more paragraph to find out who stole the pearls. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't it the truth? <laughs> Say, maybe Tubby and Harold decided to wait until after taps to come down here. Maybe. But if they wait too long, they may not get a chance to get out of their room. Say, my watch is in the drawer there. See what time it is, will you? In the top drawer? Mm-hmm. It's right there under my handkerchief. Where? Oh, I've got it. What time is it? Exactly 1.30. Come on, quit kidding me. What time is it, Jerry? 1.30. That's what your watch says. Well, again, it happened. What happened? I forgot to wind my watch last night. Well, it can't be long before it taps now. It just can't be. It's been days since Tattoo came in. Tick, 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 tick. Minutes, 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 minutes. <laughs> what's the matter with you? Well, what's the matter with me? What's the matter with me, he's asking. Do you feel all right, Lee, my lad? Uh, I don't know if I do or not. I'll admit I've got the jitters. Uh, you're telling me. Say, if we feel this way already, how are we going to feel when we get out to the powerhouse? And say, wait a minute. I'm the one who's supposed to have the jitters. I'm the one that's going to paint the... The stack. Are we going to have to argue now about who has the better right to have the jitters? Oh, let's forget it. Why get ourselves excited over nothing? Who's excited? I'm certainly not. And besides, don't say over nothing. Painting the stack is one of the most important things you can do in your freshman year at Fair Oaks. Okay, okay, okay. Well, welcome. I thought you fellas would never get here. The OD's right behind us. Quick, oh. where we hide? The OD. Uh, uh, quick, under the bed. Yeah, under the bed. Ouch, my shin. Quiet. Oh. Uh, Sit down, Jerry. Grab a book or something. Yeah, a book. Yeah, uh, yeah I've got one here. Uh, sit down, too. Oh, what a night. What's all the commotion? Everything in order here? Uh, oh, yes, sir. I heard someone yell, ouch, and loud. Oh, no, sir. What? Uh, I, mean, I mean, yes, sir. Who was it? You? It, it was me, sir. I, I bumped my crazy bone on the arm of the chair. You must have bumped it awful hard, Dugan. Maybe you better go see Dr. Campbell. Oh, it, it's nothing, sir. Next time, hold that yell down. You're not out in the wide open spaces. The other cadets here in Haywood Hall. Yes, sir. Better prepare for bed. Taps will be coming in any minute now. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, kids, come on. He's gone. I'll never be the same. Oh, just as we started down the hall, I heard the O.D. coming down the stairs. 
I didn't know if you saw us or not. Not so loud. Boy, was that a close call. Almost two times in one night for me. Say, uh, by the way, you didn't tell us all the captain said to you when he caught you coming out of Captain Rowland's room. Sure I did. He just said he thought he knew what it was all about. And that he knew who the other cadets were that you were talking to. Uh Uh-huh. But he met in the the hallway just before we come into the study hall. Think now. You're sure that's all he said? Sure. You said something about telling your friends. What was that? I I didn't get it. Oh, yes. He said to tell my friends I got caught. They'd be glad to know. Hmm. I wonder if he has any idea that we're going to try to paint the stack tonight. No, forget it. If he did, he'd look into it before this. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, there's Taps. Uh, turn the lights out, Harold. Okay. Hey, when do we go? I want to get this over with. Wait till things settle down a little. Ah, come on. Let's get going. Shh, wait. I've got my ear to the door and I can hear footsteps. It's the O.D. on his first rounds. He's going down the hall to the stairway. Quiet now. I'm going to open the door a little. He's going upstairs. If we're ready, now's our chance. Come on, then. We're ready. On tiptoes. Hey, you close the door behind us, Tubby. Okay, I got it. Shh. Shh, yourself. <laughs> if ever in your life you held a sneeze, hold that one. False alarm. Hey, go a little... Uh, go a little faster. We're almost out now. Take it easy. Better make sure no one is out in the quad before we bounce out the door. Hey, we better go out the back door and take the path around the back of the gym. Yeah, good idea. Why wasn't I born with brains instead of looks? That is a good idea, Lee. Okay, okay, quiet now. I'll have to open this door quietly. Want a hand? Oh, he's got a hand. Two of them. I'm the guy that makes the wise cracks. Quiet, I said. Careful now, going through this door. Uh, Can we talk loud now? No, no, not yet. Away from the door. Hey, hurry it up now. Shh, don't use a normal voice yet. We're not out of earshot. Come on, now let's run for it. Okay, let's go. Don't you fellas run too fast now, or I won't be able to keep up with you. Yeah, hold it down for Harold. Hey, it's a good thing there isn't a full moon tonight. Yes, that is lucky. There's just enough moonlight for you to work by. You scared now? Uh Uh-uh. The worst part's over now. The painting will be a cinch. What do you mean the worst part's over? I mean getting out of the building. Oh, yeah? How about getting back in now? Hey, I never thought of that. Let's worry about one thing at a time, Jerry. Coming, Harold? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Listen, we'll rest when we get to the west side of the gym by those trees. Well, here's the trees. Let's take it easy now. Yeah, we can go slower. But we better keep going. Don't forget, we've got to get back in bed before the old D makes his next round. Yeah, that's right, we do. Sure, because he looks in the rooms on his second time around. Maybe we should have put our laundry bags under our blankets so we'd think we were in bed. You must have been going to the movies again. Any old time that would fool an old D. Wait! Hey, look at... There's a light in Captain Gardner's apartment in the instructor's cottage. Yes, sir, you're right. Well, what of it? You don't think he's looking out the window... He couldn't see us if he did. It's too dark out here. Well, stay as close as you can to these trees now. (laughs) Wow, what was that? Oh, that was an owl up there in the tree. An owl? He ought to know better than that. Owls are supposed to be wise, but popping off at a time like this isn't very smart. Hey, come on, fellas, hurry it up. We're out in the clear now. We'd better run for it. We'll be right in that path of light coming from Captain Gardner's living room. Hey, wait a minute. The front door's opening. Well, come on, man. Let's run around back and keep running. Right over there in that last bunch of bushes on the edge of the parade ground. That was Captain Bogart. He stepped out on the porch for a second, but he went right back in again. Oh, well, that's lucky. She would be tough if he caught us. Where's Harold? I'm coming. Well, we're almost there now. Uh, Tubby, listen. You run over and get the paint and brush. You know where you hid them. Okay. I'll meet you over by the ladder on the other side of the powerhouse. Okay. Hurried up. Boy, look at that smokestack. Gee, it's a shame to smear it all up with paint. It looks so nice and clean. <laughs> I'll bet you just hate to paint it. Oh, I sure do. It's breaking my heart. I'll uh, bet it is. Hey, it's not here. <gasps> the paint's gone. What? You sure? Yep, it's gone. Oh, oh that's swell after all this trouble. Oh. Now what? Oh, I found it. Oh. I got it now. Oh, I'll bet he was just fooling us. I guess I forgot which bush I hid it in. 
Here you are, Jerry. Well, here, I'll, I'll take the paint. Uh, you go ahead and climb up, Jerry. Okay. Well, here I go. Wish me luck. Hooray for Dugan. Uh, here, Tubby, you better take the paint till I get up a ways, and then you can hand it to me. Got it. Go ahead. Boy, this, this is getting high. Keep going. Don't look back. All right, I'll take the paint now. Stand on that first rung and hand it to me. Okay. Here you are. Let go of the handle. Wait, here's the brush, too. I'm up. Uh, come on, Lee. All right, I'm right behind you. It's kind of tough going with one hand. Here, I'll hand the paint to you. Got it? Okay. Here, I'll help you up. Uh, hurry up now. Here's the ladder for the stack. Uh, give me a lift. Ah, it's keen. Okay, now I'll take the lid off the paint can. Well, here I go. Uh, you don't have to be careful about the letters. Just make them big and work fast. Okay. Uh, I'll go on down now and stand by to give you warning with the other fellows. Here goes the F. That's well. How is it? Good, Jerry. Now the M. Is that big enough, Lee? Fine, yeah. <laughs> I ought to do this for a living. I'm good at it. Now the A. <laughs> Maybe I ought to sign my name to it. There. All done. A good job at that. Here I come down. Hey, Lee, come on and help me down this ladder. Lee? Hey, where are you? Uh, come on now, quit kidding. Lee, Tubby, Harold, where are you, you guys? Hey, where are you? Come on, answer me. Good evening, Dugan. <gasps> Captain Bogart. <gasps> nice job of lettering you did on that stack, Dugan. Y yes, sir. Too bad you're going to have to go right back up there and clean it off. No, sir. I mean, well, can it stay until tomorrow? Till the upperclassmen see it? Please, sir. You've gotten into the spirit of the traditions here at Fair Oaks, haven't you? Yes, sir. Well, it would be a shame not to be able to show that work of art. Yes, we'll let it stay until tomorrow. But tomorrow, during dress parade, when Major Davis and his army friends are reviewing, I want you to be up on that ladder cleaning off those letters. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Get back to your room now and get to bed. I'll talk to you more about this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>